Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the fact that I don't care what business you have, in the end of the day, you're all in the numbers business. So let's get to it. So hey guys, my name is Mohan Pober, and if you're new to this channel and you're watching it on video on YouTube, sorry, um, this channel is all about basically me showing you how to grow a business, but not just in the regular conventional wisdom ways with growing with more sales, more marketing, or just basically growing only organically and internally. I'm also going to show you and compare the organic way to also grow your business by acquisitions, to how to go and buy businesses and grow your business by buying complementary businesses or buying your competitors or anything that can give you immediately access to hundreds of clients, more products and just better talent as well. So this is what this channel is all about. If you're new to this channel, subscribe, like the video, see the links in the description below. There's a links for you to submit your questions, and based on that, I'm creating the videos based on whatever your personal info is. And I'm creating personal personalized videos. And there's also a link for you to join our free uh, group on Facebook. So definitely do that. But yeah, let's get back to today's topic um, and, and let's expand on that. So today we're going to expand on the fact that I don't care what business you're in, if your business is in engineering business or you have a construction business or you have a service b2b business or it really doesn't matter in the end of the day we're all in the numbers business and when i'm saying numbers business i mean that the the only decision you're willing to take in every business is where you spend your capital or where do you spend your numbers if it's going to be on new employees or on advertising or anything like that and it's really important to see business this way because other people might other people might tell you hey this is not the right way to look at things, but I'm here to open your eyes and just see things differently a little bit and tell you, hey, go and look at your business as an owner investor and not as an owner operator or a manager. Because many times where you're so stuck in the day to day, you can't even look objectively on your business. But in the end of the day, we're all in the numbers business on how we use our assets in order to grow our business. Um, like I said, if it's in on this expense or at that expense, if we try to grow your business organically, it's going out there and spending money on more sales, more marketing, more innovation of new products. And if you try to grow by acquisitions, it's where you put your capital. Do you go out there and potentially use the capital you have to go and buy a business in the other sectors or complementary business to yours? The problem I see with it is that 99% of people out there in the online world will talk about how to grow your business by growing only organically, how to do more R&D, how to maybe just hire uh, employees internally, how to spend more on marketing, how to hire coaches or consultants to help with your conversion rates from leads to close. All those things are great things, but in the end of the day, this is a very slow way to grow a business compared to you growing by acquisition. So for example, and I'm not talking about new businesses who start from zero to six figures. They, that can be really fast and that can be hundreds of percentages of growth, right? Or thousands of percentages. But most businesses eventually don't grow that fast. Like when you reach an initial milestone, it's really hard to continue to grow at that rate. And most businesses, when they get to at least, let's say, multiple six figures or even seven figures, small seven figures, they come to a place where, okay, they have a business, they have some fundamentals, and then they want to grow more than like 10, 20, 30% growth a year considered to be a good growth if you're growing internally. At the same time, compare that to going out there and buying a business. Like a business we're buying right now with our partner, Paul, we're buying a business that is three times bigger than his existing business. And this literally happens in a day because the moment that we're going to be owning that business, he get access to all the clients, all the products, the services that that business have. And this is literally growth of not, not hundreds of percentage, literally 300 percentage in one acquisition. Now, am I saying that it's easy to go and do those acquisitions? No, it's, it's a simple process. It's not easy, but even getting new clients, is not a, uh, it's not easy. It's hard work to go out there and pitch new clients and get leads. And some of those leads you close, some of those you don't close. Some hate you, some love you. You don't know what happens. It's a process. And same goes with buying businesses. You need to go out there. You need to build yourself a, a list of potential prospects. It's the same way that you go out there and list and find yourself potential prospects for new clients. And it's a process of going out there. And I see buying businesses as 
it's basically the same process as if you're trying to get another client. It's a sales process, basically, and you build yourself a funnel, and eventually, for many prospects, you get into a point where you're finding, let's say you, you have 100 prospects, and then ideally, you, you buy at least one of those deals. But the growth potential, what I'm saying is that instead of spending so much time on trying to get a new client, consider the idea that, like I said, we're in the numbers business. Consider that take some of those numbers, some of the capital that you have in your bank, some of the money that you have in your business, and try to look for businesses to buy because you don't need much capital to buy businesses. You can do what we call the leverage buyout, where you we use the acquisition target assets and we leverage them. Now, based on what we can leverage from those assets, then we can start a negotiation, then we can start talking to the seller and figure out what exactly can we pay for that business based on obviously whatever the other side is looking to accept. And if you also have some capital to play with, that's an extra equity kick that we call, we call that basically an equity kick, some money that we bring from home. And then you can do amazing deals. And yes, maybe it will take you some time, but heck, if it, even if it's gonna take you a few months or one year to do one acquisition, isn't it worth it more than just putting all your eggs into just finding more clients? That's at least how, how I see things. And that's what I'm telling you. When you're looking at a business, you're in the numbers business, that's first of all. And secondly, try, try and start to think like an owner investor and owner shareholder or chairman versus owner, manager, and operator. Because when you're operating the day-to-day, -day, you're very emotionally involved, and sometimes you can't even see things objectively and see what's possible to grow your business. So yeah, this is my biggest lesson for today. Remember, you're in the numbers business. It's about playing with capital, basically. Where do you play with that capital? Start to think about your business like as if you're a Warren Buffett of your business. You want to eventually be the, op the, the owner, shareholder, investor, and ideally have a team run that business for you. You can grow organically with the capital that you have, with the numbers that you have. You can use it to grow organically or to grow by acquisitions. If you want to explore if growing by acquisitions is for you or it's even possible for your business, uh, me and my team were involved in more than 300 deals and we are helping business owners to grow by acquisitions and we are looking to potentially invest in some of those deals as well. So if you want to learn this process from us, work with us, or just want to first explore if it's even possible to you, we are happy to do a free call with you first to see if it's a fit. And if it is, we can let you know how we can work with you. And if it's not, we will send you to someone else who can potentially help you uh, achieve the outcome that you want. So either way, we just want to help you uh, and share what we know. So potentially in the future, on the back end, we can do some deals together. So yeah, that's that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to explore it, go to moanpober.com forward slash talk and see the details there. Otherwise, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. See the links in the description below on how to submit your questions based on your basically questions. I'm creating those videos, so go ahead and submit those and join our free group on Facebook. There is a group uh, for, so one of them is going to be a group for, if, you, if you're new to this channel, if you're not new, we have a business buying group. So those for people who don't have a business yet. So if you want to learn that, go to your business buying mastermind and I might put another link for our new group, which is a group about how to double your business basically using unconventional ways like growing by acquisition. So it's going to be a little bit different. One of them is going to be for business owners. One of them is going to be for people who are just looking to do their first deal. Um, so yeah, see the links in the description below for that. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.